Hey, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to, to finish my last thing because I said I would. Oh, and there's something I forgot to mention on my last video. I was talking just like about how I lost my job at Ace Hardware and I was um, unemployed for like three weeks. I was actually looking to get um, unemployment um, money to um, apply for unemployment or whatever it's called. But, um, I found a job not long after I, um, turned in apps. Like, I had a whole week to turn in apps because of, they suspended me for a week or whatever. So, I had, like, a whole week to turn in apps. I turned in a bunch of apps and, um, I got a call not long after that. Like, two days after, um, I found out I was fired or whatever. And I got the job. I actually got the job at Walgreens. Um, I think it was the day after I was fired that I got it or something. I'm not sure, but it didn't take long for me to actually get, um, get, find, get another job, which is, like, shocking, because, like, because really the government, I mean, the, um, economy was getting bad at the time, and there was people losing their jobs, and I'm shocked I even got one. But then again, it is just a normal job. I got a... Did I tell you what I got a job at? I got a job at Walgreens. Um, I'm a cashier. Mo well, some of the time. Most of the time, if they actually put me where I'm supposed to be. Um, I work in photo. Um, I make photos. I process... I make... I develop photos for people. And I sell them to people. It's actually really easy to operate in machines. And, and I think it's very fun. Um, but that's pretty much, pretty much it. I'm just going to stop it there because if I don't, I'm going to keep going on. Um, okay, so, about September 11th. That day, my mom woke me up and she's like, you need to come see this. You need to come see what's on the news. This is like, look, it's happening, you know. And I was like, oh my gosh, what's happening? So I freaked out, got up. First thing I saw was a picture of a plane hitting this the twin tower, one of the twin towers, and I was like, "What the heck?" And one of them was already on fire, and I was like freaking out. And I was like, "Mom, what's going on?" And I didn't know that they were in New. Honestly, I didn't even know the twin towers were in New York until that day. Until that day that I know that the twin towers were in New York, I'm sure most people didn't, unless the people that live there. I mean, so. Um, my mom called everybody, they came over, and we all held hand to, hands and prayed, because at that time I was actually a Christian, and I know it's crazy, but, um, I was a Christian at one point, and I'm not anymore. Um, uh, I don't really like God anymore, because God seems to have, everybody says that, you know, People make the decisions that can fuck up your life, or you make your decisions that can fuck up your life. I honestly think still that God fucked up my life. God let things happen that shouldn't have let, He shouldn't have let happen. My dad abused me, a lot of shit, um, and my life pretty much sucked for the longest time until I found John and I fell in love with him. But you know what? Now I'm just going on another subject. So anyways, what was I? So I didn't know what they were. I was like, where's that? You know, and, and then I looked and I was like, oh, it's a September. I said, um, New York City or wherever it was. And I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh. And like we prayed and stuff and we stayed like all day together and prayed and like talked and like freaked out and called people and stuff and I was 12 and in and out being homeschooled I was in I believe seventh grade or something seventh or eighth grade but um yeah I uh, it was a bad it was a very bad day for me and us all the whole country it was a horrible day I hate that day I mean I remember it every every year I I do something to show my support for the country, but um, other than that, I'm not like jumping up and down and excited about it, the anniversary. I mean, why would I be? Um, 
I do have to say, just so you all know, I support this country, I love this country, and just to support, support you all, I made a poster that says, um, in memory of 9-11, and then it says like a few other things on the side. If you want, I will show you right now, because I have it. It's at my boyfriend's house. But, um, yeah, I made that, and then I had this little, when I went to work, I took some register paper or whatever, and I wrote on it, I wrote, um, we will never forget 9-11-01, and then I put, like, God bless America, and then I put, like, a little pin that flashes, a flag pin that flashes, I don't have it anymore because I lost it, it fell off my thing, I guess, because I, uh, had, a, had it stuck to the paper, because it had a mag, it had a magnet, so, like, the magnet, you could stick it, like, on your shirt, and, like, the magnet would hold it on. <gasps> But I stuck it on the paper and I guess it just slipped off or something. I don't know where it went, but it was only $1.99, so it's not a big deal. And it was actually cheaper than that for me, but still. Um, so yeah, um, I did that. Um, I also had, on the other side of the poster, I didn't have this originally. I decided to make it um, the day after, I think it was. Um, I said, you know what, I'm going to write on the back, Honk if you love America, and I'm going to put it... I'm going to hold it out and, like, hold it up, you know, so people can see it, but not, like, jump around and, like, show it to people, you know. Because I felt, like, kind of nervous, kind of, like, embarrassed about holding the sign, but at the same time, I wanted to be supportive of my country, you know. Um, nobody really said anything bad. Everybody actually said good things. I didn't have a whole lot of people mention it or comment on it. But I guarantee that I'm going to have more people comment on it tomorrow. Because I'm going to be taking it with me to work tomorrow when I go to work. So I guarantee I'll have more people commenting. Um, but yeah, um, I made that sign. And a few people said things. They're like, I can't believe it was seven years ago. One lady was dumb enough to ask me, what's your sign about? Like, I, And so I showed her and she's like, oh, 9-11. <laughs> She saw the thing. It's, I mean, I, she, like, I let her read it, and then she's like, what's that? And I was like, 9-11? I even had a, I had two, like, L, like, a, like, ones, but they looked like towers, and one of them had, like, that little pole on the top from the Twin Tower, you know? One of the Twin Towers. And she still asked what it was. <laughs> What do you think it is? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. But anyways, um, I gotta hurry up. It's like eight minutes already. Uh, so, yeah, it it was a horrible day for me. Even though I didn't I didn't personally lose anybody, but you know I feel so sorry for the people, Dave. And I absolutely hated watching the people jump out the windows, especially when I was only 12 years old. That really bothered me. Um. But yeah, so that was, that's my story. Um, I did, I do remember it very well, even though I was only 12 years old. I have a very good memory, and I remember that very well. Who could forget it? I mean, we, we will never forget 9-11. In memory of 9-11 is what I say. Thank you, firefighters and police officers and everybody who helped out, who saved people's lives, who got people out of there. Thank you. And God bless America. I'll show you my poster. This is the Honk If You Love America side. I gotta hurry. It's getting running out of time.